I'm going to be uh, showing you this random camera that's just come into my hands. Um, I have noticed I am again the only seller of this particular type. This is we have an app called Look Cam, which you can see there. You can actually scan this if you do buy this item. It will take you directly to the app. The battery inside itself does last up to roughly three hours. It is a lot smaller these days, which is probably good for you guys that want to put them in planes, model planes, etc. This, if you do want to keep it running for a lot longer than a three hours and you don't have a, a power source around, you can get a power bank and use it. Attach that into that, into the side and that into the power bank. Now, I have got a matchstick and that just to, to show you the size. And the thickness, again, it's it's hardly anything, is it? So it is uh, actually really tiny this time. Now the head, it, this is showing you it's a, um, a night version one, an IR version. Now what I have noticed, if you do take this square bracket off here, you can actually flip it up if you get either a knife or a screwdriver and just flick it off. However, the bad news is, once you take it off, uh, it won't go back on. So, you need to make your mind up if you you want a bigger head, etc. Now, the setup. So, you download the app and you will need to then... It's, it's usual, easy to set them up. So, this time you are going to your Wi-Fi again and the coding has changed slightly. There we are, so it's found it. You click that. There we are, so it's gone straight to it now. It's, it finds it quickly than what it used to do. So we'll just go into that and into look cam. It's already found it. So you, you can actually um, link it to your Wi-Fi now and get it set up quite easily. So my Wi-Fi would be that one. And then you would put in the password from behind your modem. However, well, I'm not going to do that. It's going to make it quicker. Let's go into that. And I'm going to quick cancel. So I don't want to give it a password as I do want to sell this one. So cancel that. And it should take me to the screen. Oh, great. There we are. Oh, quick, quite straightforward. So I've just got it, yeah, it's facing upwards onto the light. So let's just have a look at the video, so. And let's just see if it's got sound. Might echo a little bit. You know, the light when they're together. Hello. 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 Oh yeah, the sound works. It will show a microphone, but just remember this uh, this app will work with many items such as plugs and things like that that might come on the market eventually. So that can won't work. You can take uh, snapshots there and record videos, which will save to the app. So, oh, it's quite easy to set up really that, very simple. So yeah, like I say, these are, are new now. Um, there is a slot there for a, an SD card. And just want to point out again, it's the same as the, the old devices really, you reset buttons there. so. To reset it, let's just say you can't find the um, the camera when you first turn it on, you will hold that down for three seconds 
And inside, you do have to look for it, but the lights are inside there. I think it's a lot better now because before you'd have the lights at the back end here and a lot of people would moan saying they don't want to see the lights. And they used to say, get some duct tape and put it over them, but it seems like they've um, hid them now inside. So, but you can actually turn these lights off through the app still. There is a bulb in the app and you can click that and it will turn it off. So, yeah, that, that's basically that.